Hello boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Butcher and I am the string and orchestra teacher at Drexel Avenue School and at Powell's Lane School. Today I'm going to play for you all of the string instruments and if you decide to play a string instrument this year, listen really carefully so this way you know which one you'd like to choose. The first instrument I'm going to play for you today is called the violin. Now the violin is the smallest instrument in the string family and it also has the highest sound. what the violin sounds like. The second instrument in the string family is called the viola. You'll see here that it looks a little bit bigger and you'll also hear that it sounds a little bit lower. Let's see if you can hear the difference. sounds like. The third instrument in the string family is called the cello and you can see that it is much bigger and you will hear that it sounds much lower than the violin and the viola. What's neat about the cello is that you always get to sit down when you play the cello. The violin and the viola you have to stand up or sit down but the cello you always get to sit down. Another neat thing if you decide to, to play the cello this year is that you get one at home and one at school. This way you don't have to carry it back and forth with that big backpack on the bus. So, you always get to sit down and you have one at home and one at school. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> The last instrument in the string family is called the bass. The bass is the lowest sounding and the largest instrument in the string family. I want to assure you before I play it for you, you do not need to carry this instrument to and from school. The bass stays at either Drexel Avenue or Powell's Lane, wherever you attend. The bass is one of the most important instruments in the orchestra, so even though it's very big, I do hope you consider to play it. It is a really neat instrument.